morning and welcome to this week's CCB Kids Online. Do you remember last week we met a volunteer from our um, members at Christchurch? Her name was Pauline and she shared with us a little bit about her work as a volunteer. Well today we have somebody else that um, Karen is going to interview and she's going to share about the job that she used to do. Sometimes these people have been called heroes in the news and we shall find out if our mystery guest sees herself as a hero. Over to Karen now, so she's going to interview our mystery guest. Hello, today I'm in the church garden to chat to Isabella. Lots of our viewers will know Isabella as she is often on the door on a Sunday morning to greet people. Today we are going to ask about the job she did. Hello Isabella and welcome. Hello Karen, thanks for having me here. Thank you for coming. Isabella, can you tell us what job you did? I was a nurse. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, it spanned, it spanned a long time, you know, nursing. I started off as an uh, Albion, stayed for three years. And then after that, I went on to do intensive care training. And then I did midwifery. And it goes on and on. What else do you want to know, you know, to date? So, yeah, I mean, wow, that is a lot of nursing. Yeah, it is, yeah. Later today, we are going to hear a parable, which is a short story Jesus told about how we should use the gifts God gives us. Do you think as a Christian um, that helps you to be a nurse, a good nurse? Yes, uh, um, definitely. Um, God gave me the gift that he thought was was um, a good gift for me, you know, and I've used that accordingly. Being a nurse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you think you are a hero? Um, not really. I think I wouldn't be boasting to be a hero. But I think I use my gifts, that the gift that God gave me quite adequately in showing um, um, a caring way in looking after people, looking after um, the needs of them, and, um, you know, regardless of who they are and where they come from. I think probably you had to have a lot of very special gifts. I just imagine... Perhaps patience was one of them. Can you think of many other gifts that you had to use every day? Yes, patience was it was um, definitely one of them, especially when I was in district nursing. Yeah. Because um, going into people's homes, you never know what you're going to find. And sometimes, you know, you have a list of patients to do. And then one patient can set you back, you know, like maybe they've had a fall or... They're not too well, so you have to spend time, you know, and you know, giving, giving them care to that person. Absolutely, yeah. It sounds like it's a really worthwhile job. Oh, I, I very much enjoyed it. You know, I, I always um, treated my patients as though they were special. You know, they were uh, no matter how long my list was, that patient was going to be special, and um, I'm, I was going to give that patient, you know, all the care that was needed. Thank you. Now, if you're watching children at home, you might think that you have got a gift to be a nurse. So maybe you'd like to chat to Isabella and see what she has to say about that and see if she can give you some tips. Thank you for coming to talk to us today, Isabella. I think if I was unwell, just your lovely smile would make me feel much better. Now we will hear the story that Jesus told about using our gifts. Once there was a man that was going on a long trip. He had his servants take care of his property while he was gone. The master gave each man the number of talents he knew he could manage. He gave one servant five talents, one servant two talents, and one servant one talent. The man that was given five talents went to work using his master's money and before long had doubled it and had ten talents. The man with two talents also doubled his talents and had four talents. The man with the one talent went and buried his talent in a hole. 
After a long time, the master returned to see what the servants had done with his talents. The first servant came to him and said, Master, you gave me five talents, and now I have gained five more. The master was happy he had put his talents to good use and told him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things, so I will make you ruler over many. Then the servant that had two talents came to his master and said, Master, you gave me two talents, and now I have four. The master was happy he had put his talents to good use and told him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things, so I will make you ruler over many. Then the servant that had gotten only one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you were a tough man, and I was afraid. So I went and hid your talent in the earth, and here is the talent that is yours. The master was mad, and the servant had not put his talent to good use, like the other two servants, and told him, You wicked and lazy servant! You know that I am a tough man, but you didn't do anything with my talent. So the master took his talent and gave it to the servant with ten. The lesson of this story is that we need to use whatever talent God has given us, and he will increase it so that we can live our lives to better glorify him. Hello. Do you remember last week I told you that a parable was a short story that Jesus told to help us to learn and to help us to understand? Well, in this story, a talent can also mean our gifts and abilities, something special and amazing that God has given us. Our abilities are special gifts that God gave to each of us. He made some of us good at maths and academic things. Some of us are good at creative things, dancing, singing. Some of us are good at sports. And some of us are good at listening and knowing how to help others. Some of us are patient and can help solve problems. Our ability is something special we have that's different to anyone else's. The point Jesus was trying to make is that if you use your special gifts and abilities, God will give you more to keep you doing these things you are good at. He will trust you with so much more. If you have a chance to do something for God that he gave you a special ability or a special gift for and you don't do it, you will lose that special gift. God considers you very valuable and he trusts you to do something for him using your gifts and your abilities. Maybe... You're not sure what your gift or ability is. Ask your parents, ask your teachers. What do they think you're good at? To you, it might be something very small, but to God, it's a special and very valuable gift that only you can give. If you keep using it, God will continue to make it bigger and better. Tell your friends when you see something special in them or something that they're good at and remind them that it's a special ability given to them by God. Now, we met Isabella and she told us about some of the things that she felt God gave her to help her be a good nurse. My own mum, she used to be really, really good at drawing and had the most beautiful writing and she used to make little cards like these Um, they were just very prettily decorated and they all have a bible verse or a verse from a hymn and she used to give these to people when perhaps life was hard or they weren't well sometimes they used to sell them at the church to make money for something that needed doing in church but it was something that was just a little thing. She used to sit and write these out and hand draw the decorations. Just, it was a gift that she had. And lots of my friends who have the gift of sewing have spent the last year making scrubs, making special clothes for people that have been helping us through the pandemic. So there are so many gifts, they're so varied. Let's just see what yours might be. We've been looking at our everyday heroes, 
People like nurses, doctors, street pastors, teachers, delivery drivers and many, many others. People who use their God-given talents to help other people in lots of different situations. Music is also a gift from God. And many people use this gift to write songs which praise God or which teach us about Jesus. We can all use our gift of singing, whether we sing in tune or not, to praise God. So let's do this by singing about Jesus, who is greater than the greatest heroes. Father, thank you so much that you love each one of us and you chose us to, to use our gifts and abilities to let others know about you. You have given us eyes to see your wonderful world. Help us keep our eyes fixed on you. You give us ears to hear. Help us to hear your voice us voices to speak and sing of our love for you. You have given us hands to care and to welcome other people. You have given us our feet to dance and jump. Help us to walk along each day with you. And thank you most of all Jesus for your Holy Spirit who teaches us how to use our gifts and abilities for your kingdom. Amen. Next week, our CCB Kids is going to be really special. We're going to meet lots of people and hear from lots of people in our Christchurch family as we look at Pentecost. So make sure that you're there and that you don't miss it. Bye-bye.